Over the past six years, I've written book descriptions for all sorts of books, from low content books to high content books, to children's fiction books, to cookbooks, to even activity books. I discovered a lot of things that make descriptions bad, but I also discovered exactly what makes a book description great. Now your book description has two main jobs. Number one, it helps sell your book. And number two, it helps people find your book. Now I've already made a video about using your description to help people find your book, which is why in this video, I'm going to reveal to you exactly how I write book descriptions that help sell my books. Let's say you published a woman's weight loss book. Your description is not created to sell the book it's created to sell the outcome of reading the book now here's the thing when people buy your book do you think they want to buy the book cover and the pages no they want to buy the information that's inside your book they're looking for information that will change their life so in our case they're looking for knowledge that will help them lose weight so when you're writing a book description you're not selling your book you're selling what your book can do for them think of it like this what's the dream outcome of someone who's looking to buy a weight loss book for women they obviously want to lose weight but let's take it a step further why do they want to lose weight is it because they're single and they're trying to attract someone is it because they feel insecure and losing weight will make them feel more confident? Is it because they're unhealthy and the doctor told them to lose weight? If you look at the examples I just gave you, you're going to notice one very important thing. I'm talking about people's problems. If you want to write a really effective book description, you need to list out your customer's problems and sell your book as a solution. So for this example, the customer's problem is that they're single, lonely, and can't attract anyone. But guess what? Your book can solve that problem for them because if they lose weight, they become more attractive and guys will be lining up to date them. For the second example, the problem is that they feel insecure. Well, guess what? Your book can solve that problem too. You're not going to feel insecure after you've lost weight and achieved your goals. In fact, you're going to feel way more confident. Now for the final example, the problem is that they're unhealthy. Well, great, because your book is literally made to help them get healthier. Problem solved. So remember, when you're writing your book description, don't just sell your book. Specify the problem and then sell your book as a solution. Perfect. Now that you know what you need to talk about, you need to understand exactly how to structure your book description. And there are four main parts to this. First, you have your hook. This is the most important part of your description and it has only one one purpose and that's to get you to read the next sentence you need your hook to capture the attention of the customer because if it does that will make them want to read more so if i was writing a hook for a weight loss book it would go something along the lines of so you think it's impossible to lose five pounds in a week or i lost five pounds in a week without exercising here's how now that we captured the customer's attention they're going to want to read on this is when i specify the problem and most importantly how that problem makes them feel you need to build rapport in this section because rapport builds trust and if someone trusts you they buy from you if you tell someone exactly what their problem is and how it makes them feel and you're correct and they will automatically assume that you have the solution so for example if you know that your customers problems are that they feel unmotivated don't have money to spend on gym equipment and they're vegetarian then the report section will look like this study shows that 60 percent of women struggle with motivation when trying to lose weight i was in that 60 percent which is why for your book title there i show you clinically proven ways to gain motivation not only before your workout but also during it to completely destroy all your previous exercise goals goals. But it doesn't stop there. With the, your book title, you get access to my seven week transformation workout plan. So you don't have to pay for a monthly gym membership. And best of all, every workout uses your body weight to build your balance while losing weight or without equipment. Finally, you will discover my secret meal plan that helped me lose five pounds in a week while boosting my energy levels. And best of all, it works for vegetarians too. Now, as you can see, not only have I specified their problems, I sold the information in my book as a solution. No equipment, my book solves that. No gym membership, my book solves that. No motivation, my book solves that. It's very hard to say no to a book that solves your problems, which is why as soon as your book description has persuaded your customer that your book is perfect for them, you need to add a call to action. This is the sentence that turns the shoppers into buyers. You want to tell them exactly what step they need to take to buy your book. Something like scroll up and buy a copy today works well. Simple, right? Now that you've written your book description, you need to actually get people to read it by formatting it correctly. Now, formatting may seem insignificant, but it makes a massive difference. If your book description is just a big block of text no one's going to read it which is why i like to break up my descriptions into small paragraphs i find that two sentences per paragraph is more than enough it's simple and it helps the reader absorb the information easier and in reality most people are not actually going to read your whole description they're just going to skim over it so breaking your descriptions into small pieces makes it much easier to skim but what really makes it stand out is when you draw attention to the most important parts now you can do this by highlighting key phrases and underlining them italicizing them or even making them bold the goal is to make them pop out and communicate communicate your key points to the reader that's just skimming over your description. Now, one last thing I like to add to my descriptions are bullet points. I love bullet points. Most people are not going to read your description, but they are going to read your bullet points. I always include at least three bullet points in my descriptions. And here's the trick. In these bullet points, I like to start the sentence off with something included in my book and end it with how that benefits the reader. So for the women's weight loss book, I would write something like over 30 body weight exercises so you don't have to spend money on equipment or over 30 body weight exercises so you 
can work out from the comfort of your own home. The first part tells the reader something your book has to offer. The second part tells them why they should care. So to quickly recap, you want to write book descriptions that sell the information inside your book and how that's going to solve your reader's problems. Next, you want to make sure you structure your book description correctly by starting off with a hook, then building rapport by specifying their problem and selling your book as a solution. Then you need to give them a call to action so they can actually buy your book. Now you should also make sure your book descriptions are visually appealing by doing the correct formatting. And finally, bullet points are your friends. Use these to show off the features and benefits of your book and tell the reader why it's important to them. Now before you go watch another video, hit your ace and down below and show off your book description. You never know who you could help.